a tenor, to go, tenor guitar to show you today. This is number 914. The back and sides are some curly red oak that I have from the Carpenter Ant Stash in Portland. This was originally cut for grandfather clocks, but it looks great as a, and sounds great as a musical instrument. And I have plenty more like this. And the top is Sitka Spruce from our friend Craig, cut by his dad back in the day. It's got a mahogany neck, a couple walnut stripes in it. And the rest is pistachio. And for the binding, I chose some pistachio that changes color as it goes, which is kind of a fun look. It goes light right there. Um, and this tenor guitar is tuned D, G, B, E, the smallest four strings of a guitar, or like a baritone ukulele. And um, I have a lot of tenor guitars this year to make, and I've made already. And um, it's interesting because I struggle with trying to make it sound more normal. Because <laughs> right now it is a really interesting mix of like banjo, guitar, ukulele, dulcimer. It's just kind of like its own thing. And I keep thinking, oh, well, maybe I ought to do this or that. Or maybe I ought to do this or that. And I just keep thinking, well, maybe I ought to just embrace this, you know. <laughs> ladder braced which is kind of like the guitars on the old records I like from the depression it's like loud and vibrant and rich and singing um, instead of like really deep and sustainy and rich like maybe a modern big acoustic guitar anyway I just like ladder braced instruments <laughs> that spruce and oak would be good but I'm really liking it I would totally play this guitar um, I'm also learning a little bit more about how to deal with the tailpiece and um, now what I'm doing is I'm putting a little piece of leather underneath this part of the tailpiece to mute some of the vibrations from this end of the strings which is a tip that I got from some mandolin players so Cheers.